Now, I'm aware of the fact that there are quite a few different um, AI detectors out there, the ChatGPT detector, the ChatGPT3 detector, and then there, there are AI content detectors. But they all are, at least for the most part, they're paid. And the ones that are not paid are not good. And so I've tried a whole bunch of them. I've tried, you know, I, I've paid for it, and some of them are just outrageously expensive. But they didn't work as planned, and I'm, I'm not, I wasn't really ha uh, very happy with it. And then someone get in, got in touch with me. They sent me a link. They said, all right, so this is in beta. I want you to take a look and tell us uh, how good it is. So I don't own this plugin. Um, I'm sorry, I don't own this website. I don't own this detection algorithm. I don't know how it works. I have nothing to do with them. There's no affiliate program for them right now. It's in beta, but it does an excellent job of detecting AI content, especially AI content that's written in ChatGPT, and it's free. So get it while it's still free, because it might not be free for very long. So um, before I dive into the video, like and subscribe and Let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the uh, draft and goal detector, ChatGPT, ChatGPT3 content detector. The URL to this is detector.dng.ai, link in the description. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not an affiliate, so let's go ahead and start testing this out. Uh, it has to be at least 400 characters. So if you guys remember, we generated a bunch of prompts uh, when we were testing um, the plugin for Google. Um, in the last video, we'll go ahead and use the answers from those prompts to see how good this is at detect at detection. So I pasted the one. So the one. So the content I pasted here is from when I asked it about when Russia uh, attacked Ukraine, and uh, detection comes back ninety nine percent, which is correct. Um, so let's try another one. Let's try, and then after this, we're going to try also content that has been slightly modified so just for fun how much this uh, deck repair cost in new york city and it gave me an answer let me see if this will pass the detection test and it says it's 100 percent ai um if you guys can't see the screen i apologize this is where it says 100 percent ai um then you get to rate this so i'll go ahead and rate this um the next one is, um, I asked it about the Samsung Galaxy when it will be announced, and let's see how this fares. So go ahead, paste it over here, click Analyze, and uh, well, it's too short for it to analyze, but let's start. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and ask it to uh, to detect content that I had partially modified. So let's uh, let's let's partially modify this so right now this is 100 percent i'm going to go ahead and make a few changes to this and i will cut i'll just breeze through this uh, i'll just start with the uh, grammatical problems here and then samsung has initially announced when the guys here will be out release dates for new smartphones are you know, Okay, so I made a few changes. This is now 67 words and did some grammatical changes as well. Go ahead and analyze this. It says, let's add more content. Um, so when I had I added a two sentences and a few uh, and a few changes and it still says it's 84 percent. AI based on our analysis, which is correct because I think 84% of it is AI. Uh, and so this is, as you can see, it's, it's pretty hard to fool. Let's let's try another one. Um, so one of the other ones that had uh, recorded that it was not, that was AI. Let's go ahead, just go ahead and paste that in over here. Let's reanalyze it so that you guys can see that this was picked up as AI. And it says 99% AI. And let's start with just making a few grammatical changes um, to the text, as we would usually do. Then Russia, next Crimea, from Ukraine, twenty fourteen. So 
So I made a few changes and go ahead and click analyze. And it says now it's 100% um, AI. So as you can see, this is a pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty accurate at it, 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 uh, detection, but I have found instances where it is not accurate. I will tell you to go ahead and play around with it. Uh, let me know in the comments how good this is. Um, if you were able to fool uh, detection, the detection system. Uh, I have not been able to do it, in a, uh, you know, just by making a few changes. But I would assume that if you made a lot of changes, you can probably, um, you could probably fool it. But then but at that point, you know, how much of it is AI content and how much of it is human content is, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, how much time have you put in to write the human content in the first place? And then would it be even worth it if you've uh, just changed everything? So just let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Well, so here's the thing. So as you can see, this does a very good job of detecting AI content. And it's not 100% perfect, but no tool is 100% perfect. But I found that, that it is as good as a lot of the expensive paid tools out there. So you can save yourself a whole bunch of money and use this AI tool, which is absolutely free. And uh, before you go ahead and post anything on your blog or on your website, or if you're writing content for a client, and you're using, you're being naughty, and you're using OpenAI to do a lot of the writing, then you might want to pass it to, through this before you send it over to your client. So do I do not condone this type of activity. I know people are going to do it. So if you're going to do it, make sure you do it correctly. And your client isn't penalized because you've copied content from someplace else. So as always, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.